Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on the new Triple H, Connecticut Blue Blood. Uh, as usual, I do not get to keep this character uh, when this preview is done. He'll be removed from my roster and I'll have to get him the same way as you guys. Uh, so let's take a look. He has two links, Degeneration X, purple moves start with two more move points. That's going to be pretty useful, I think. And new gen, gems do 10% more damage. He is a new gen trickster. Um, his coaching ability is pretty cool. We haven't had much in the way for, or any, uh, to my knowledge, of botch coaches like this. So we now have a botch gem coach at 9k. Botch gems are going to do 15% more damage, and moves that generate botch gems will make one more. Uh, so that's going to be good, like for your uh, your Bret Hart's, um, you know, uh, Big Show stuff like that. Anyone using botches, anyone using damage botches, uh, this would go good on the new AJ that just came out with him putting botches all over the board and stuff. Um, so I got a bunch of move sets for you guys actually tonight. I got uh, the standard. Uh, gonna have a three star move set, a four star move set. Two different five stars, and then um, the last build is a really kind of unique one. Um, it's a, I think there's a lot of ways to run Triple H, uh, this Triple H, and I'm gonna kind of between the builds give you an idea of the flexibility he has. Um, so I'm gonna switch trainers up a lot, and there's gonna be alternate builds you could run with it. Um, the goal here is to give you guys an idea what his potential could be like, even even with straps later. Cause, and we'll get into that more as I play him. Um, so let's uh, take a look at the moveset we're going to run for the first build. The, again, this is available at 3-star. You have the pedigree, uh, finisher, deal 59k damage, and destroy 4 random Cullen break gems and pin the opponent. The cutter, deal 42k damage and choose a 3 by 2 area to swap into purple gems. And the sleeper hold, uh, submission, place 6 sub gems and do 9k damage for 5 turns. Um, remaining sub gems turn into column break gems. For the entourage, uh, going with Jimmy so that we can destroy up to 7 random column gems even though the most we can have is uh, 6. If you find you're having trouble um, keeping... Uh, most of the six submission gems on the board, then it would make sense to go like uh, Ric Flair, um, uh, Slick Rick, for the 20% gem damage. That's another way you could go. I'm using Sting, so we'll get more red MP to start. Uh, Lacey Evans, who I think you're going to see a lot in my in my videos now, because uh, anyone doing purple or green gem damage, she's buffing huge at the coach slot. And because I'm going against Vader, I'm going to throw Robocina in there for 20% less damage from red gems. A lot of ways you could go um, with that other one. You could throw X-Pac on there if you wanted to. But most of my um, red gems should recharge from blowing up the board, not necessarily a three match. Uh, so I don't think I will need X-Pac, but you certainly could go with X-Pac. Um, there's a lot of multiple different coaches you could use. You could use JBL Hawk instead of Jimmy. Um, like I said, you could not use the extra break if you don't think you're going to get the, the gems on the board. And we'll take a look and see how we end up doing, if it's a waste or not. I find usually uh, I can keep about five on the board most of the time, especially against Vader because the sub isn't lasting a very long, a super long time because he's got a sub coach reduction. Um, so I do have some tour perks active. I have plus two. Um, and so my moves start with two more uh, move points. And then uh, a three match uh, gives an extra move point for four. So those are active. Um, so let's get in here and take a look at the blue blood. I will say um, I've definitely enjoyed uh, playing playing Triple H. Like I said, a lot of a lot of versatility. He plays he plays kind of like other Triple H's. He plays a little bit like uh, DX Triple H, a little bit like Masters of the Universe Triple H, but not exactly like either of them. Uh, because we have Sting, uh, we don't need a, a red match turn one. It's ready to go next turn. The purples, we're going to get a match and make it. So really, basically what I want to do is kind of control pin bar and not get a big pin. Um, I don't really... Vader's going to have trouble getting to his finisher if he doesn't get to his greens, so I'm going to leave the reds for Vader. It doesn't bother me. And he prioritized his greens anyway. That's unusual for the AI. Usually I take the highest gem damage. 
Um, so you can do this two ways. I don't really want to force a pin. I want to get the sub going right away. Um, but at the same time, I do want to have the other move charge. So this is a relatively safe spot. Doesn't look have a very high chance of causing any kind of cascade. It still can, but it's unlikely. And we got a small one, but not enough to be a big deal. So for these sub gems, want to keep as many as possible on the board. Um, so like that's a relatively safe spot. It's going to be hard to get a black down here. AI doesn't usually go for those. Um, you know, so you just kind of try and pick ones that look relatively safe. And actually, let's go... And usually the bottom of the board is a lot better than the top of the board. Less likely to get breaks. So in this case, we still have all of our sub gems. So the destroy uh, pays off. We're going to get six, all six of them. And also, when you're setting it up, ideally reds and purples, but preferably reds. And we got enough to, to recharge. So, you know, really solid, viable moveset. Um, and I think you're going to see that with Triple H. Uh, Tricksters don't have the strongest gem damage, so I could see a lot of his movesets benefiting from um, Honky Tonk Man and, and Double Armor. Again, don't want to force a pin. Uh, it's unlikely to get a huge cascade here. Right back to the sub, and uh, next cycle should do it. are pretty safe and sure why not there's a red there again we have all of our sub gems still on the board that's why i feel like jimmy as long as you're careful with where you place um i think often jimmy will be more damaged than slick I think this will probably do it. Yep. So, pretty easy win. Pretty fast win. Couple cycles. Um, so we'll get in and check out his four-star move now. So with this one, um, you can run it no MP trainer. Uh, but I wanted to show a more aggressive, faster uh, pace one. I have two or perks, so it would be ready turn two without a match. But I kind of want to, um, like, so this is this build set. Um, let's here, let's change the moves out, and then I'll talk about it more. Um, so pedigree is going to go away, and this is available at four star. This is the four star move where um, um, one of this actually isn't the four star move. The four star would be this move, the destroy, I believe. So, but you can do this move set at four star, and this one's quite a lot of fun actually. Uh, switching almost all the trainers out. So we're gonna go with the uh, slick Rick. Bunch more gem damage, and I'm gonna use Akum for yellow MPs. So like I said, so I can start turn one. It would be ready turn two without an MP trainer. But I just want to get going right away. Going to keep Lacey on. And then I'm actually going to put Typhoon on. You might think that's kind of a weird choice. Um, but he gives 15% more gem damage to red gems. And if you look at my red gem damage, it's so almost 6,500. So not that much weaker than the purples at this point. Um, and I don't have a purple coach other than Lacey. So Typhoon made sense to me. Uh, give us a little extra damage, since this is an aggressive build set. Okay, um, that last win was a full 5 health pack win. So let's uh, get in here, and uh, I guess I kind of talked about it a little bit. Uh, the Entourage I can do a little bit better. Slick Rick, 20% gem damage. Akum, 4 yellow MP. Lacey's the 17 and 17 gem damage for green and purple. And Typhoon, we're doing just for the red gem damage at 15%. Okay. 
so the reason I kind of went with this uh, to show with a turn is that he can be turn one. So this move set could easily be turn one in feud. Um, this move set in particular, I would probably change stuff up if I had straps. And I would run him with Honky Tonk Man instead of Slick Rick. Double gem defense. And then, like, if I was against Vader, um, John Cena for the Reds. And uh, probably Asuka for the Blacks. And that setup, Vader would have a... Or any powerhouse would have a super hard time kicking out. Um, and it would be fast. So when I say he's got a lot of... Uh, quite a lot of move options uh, that's kind of what i mean and uh, especially with straps i feel like uh, even though he blows up a lot of the board um triple h is one of those guys that's going to benefit more from double uh, gem defense maybe than fury um so there's that so this is the new move that uh, well they're both new moves but um choose a two by two area to swap into purples we want to charge the move up but hopefully not cause a pin Usually 2x2 two two lets you get some pretty decent 5 matches um, without going too crazy. So, let's see how this works. That's perfect. Now, the key with this, this move, the tilt the world backbreaker, um, it's going to make the whole center column into row breaks. And the key is getting at least three yellows. If you get three yellows, it recycles every turn. Typically, it's not too hard to do. Don't worry about the purples, because we're going to get those with the other yellow. So you just want to get three yellows. There's a couple different spots we can do that. Um, remember, my red gem damage is really high, too. So reds, yellows, and purples, this row here looks to be really nice. Um, these three. So we're going to take that. And that's putting out, you know, 158k. If that was double double gem defensed up and strapped up, um, that's going to be fairly difficult to kick out of. And that's why I feel like that could be a pretty viable move set for him for feud. And uh, it's very low charge. So again, now this is what we're going for every turn now. A little bit more pin bar to work with. Um, don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and hit this. Less control than the first build, because we don't have the sub. But um, still, lots of damage going out. A lot of move damage. This tilt the world backbreaker, 47k. And again, looking for any row with three yellows, where we can get a total of three. And we got a bunch of purples and reds, so this should be a, a pretty high, pretty high uh, damage three rows for us. 144k. Couldn't quite keep him down. So it's he's relatively straightforward with these move sets. Pretty easy to play. Actually, quite a lot of fun. Um, Trickster is one of those classes that it's hard to get some really, uh, really strong tricksters. Uh, don't need a five match, and we'll win uh, with just three and then our move. So I'm not going to push my luck, and just I'm just going to go for a three match. Um, but Trickster, a lot of the... There's the top tier guys, and then other than Zombie Cena, I can't think of too many really good tricksters that are easy to get. Um, so there's a good chance if you land Blue Blood, he might be one of the better tricksters on your roster. Um, so I think overall they've pretty good job building this character. Um, he's not OP, but he is solid. He recycles really, really well. A lot of different move sets. Um, so that was the more aggressive starting turn one uh, build set that I kind of wanted to show. You can run it without Akum too. Um, it would be ready. Would would have been ready turn two with my perks. Could have went with more gem damage guys, um, or that kind of thing. So now we're gonna get into uh, the five star move set, which I prefer this one over the triple purple, but I will run them both. That was an 8 health pack win there. So we're going to keep the tilt to world backbreaker and we're going to swap in the slap. That's the 5 star move right here. 
And we're going to keep the destroy move. Um, so tilt the world backbreaker still doing 47k, making the center column into row breaks. The slap makes one random row break into column break. And then the spinning heel kick, we choose a spot to destroy. Um, we're going to switch Akam out for Woods and then keep the rest of the trainers the same. Uh, the benefit with the 2 MP that we have now in Woods is that everything will be ready on turn 2. So when we get our second turn, it's going to be ready. And Woods is the only one we change, so we're starting with 4 more purple MP. So let's get in here. And the reason why I like this one more than the triple purple is the yellow is really easy to refill. It's a low charge cost. And the um, the other purple move, I believe, is 10 MP. It's a little bit higher, so it's a little harder to fill. You're not usually going to have that many purples on the board. So that's why I prefer this to the triple purple, but both are, are definitely effective. Also, with this move set, um, plates that add... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Vader's reds here. Uh, plates that like give you more purple MP when you break X color would be really, really good on a, on a guy like Triple H for this build set. So we're going to make the center column. And then we're going to change one of these to a column break. It's random. It doesn't matter, though. One of them breaks the whole thing and will allow us to blow up every row except the top one. So we're going to get a lot of purples. Not enough to fully recycle, I don't think, unless we get a Cascade. But we're definitely going to have the yellows recharged, and we did get a purple match, so that was beautiful. A lot of damage, 282k. Um, so really like this moveset. Again, I talked about it last time, and you see Vader couldn't get up. Um, I would prefer to run this double armor and um, Honky Tonk Man instead of Slick Rick because uh, almost no one's ever you're probably going to kick out. This would not be turn one in feud though, but this moveset really strong, a lot of damage um, as you can see. So that was that was quite quick. And we'll get into, we'll do the same thing except uh, triple purples. And I'll probably make one change to the, 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 the my team here to health pack win. It's hard to beat that. So we're going to go with the triple purple. We're going to bring the finisher in. And it is 10 MP, so a little bit higher charge, so a little bit harder to get back to that finisher. But it is a little bit more move damage too, so that that's kind of nice. And because we need so much um, purple, I'm going to start with uh, Zombie Sasha at 9k. Oops. That's yellow. Ignore that. It's Zombie Charlotte. This is who we're going to use at 9k for purple. You could also use Andrade, um, who I do have, but Zombie Charlotte is not rare. And they both add 25% chance for more purples. So there you go. So if you're, you might be seeing Sasha, but you know, she's just uh, cosplaying as uh, Sasha. That's actually Zombie Charlotte there. Otherwise, this moveset um, plays identical to the one before, it's just a, a higher purple charge move, the finisher. So in a perfect world, we get a purple match, and we don't have one. Also, that's why I like the other moveset better. No matter what, you're ready on turn two with the with the two MP perks. Because we missed the purple, we are definitely not. So not a lot we can do. And we're still missing that purple. That's okay. Take the row break, get some damage in. 
Now we're ready to go. And there is a lot of purple on the board. Gonna get one of those randoms. Hopefully it's in a row with no purples. Well, one end will break that, so that's perfect. We got, I think, eight purples on the board. So, hopefully... So, 270k. A little bit less than... Or a little bit more than we did with the other build set. Vader had a better board to kick out, though. And... Wanted to stay on this side. So, like I said, a little bit harder to recycle, a little bit harder to get started. Um, hits a little bit harder because the, the move damage is higher. Vader doing his Vader things. Again, this moveset, another one. Um, I would prefer the double armor and Honky Tonk Man setup because when you get them down, you're going to keep them down. You don't have to depend on the recycling. That'll do it. Okay, so this last move set, um, you've pro if you've seen some of my recent videos, you've seen where I kind of do defensive builds, um, and that's what I'm gonna go for on this last one. Um, so take a look here. I'm gonna use all defensive trainers and uh, kind of a weird combination on the moves. And um, I will have you guys, um, I'll explain it as I go here. Let's get his move set up first. So that one, granted it was a bad board. That was a 32 health pack win. A little bit slower, a little bit uh, more prone to bad boards and that kind of thing. So that's, again, why I like the four-star moves or five-star moves that I showed first over the triple perps. So we're going to put the cutter in. Vertical suplex and the spinning heel kick. Cutter 42k, 3x2 area into purple. Vertical suplex 33k, choose a 2x2 into purple. And spinning heel kick 36k, and choose a 1x3 to destroy. Switch in every trainer we have out for Honky Tonk Man, who is. Got to be one of the best trainers in the game. He reduces all your opponent's gem damage by 30%, all colors. And we're trying to get as many colors on here as we can, so I'm going with Orton, since he handles green for 35% gem damage. So now we're at 65% reduction on the green. Robo Cena for red. So that's 50% on the red. And then Asuka for black which is another 20%. Now, I'm going to have you use your imagination here for a minute. If we were double armor strapped, we would have 40% from that. So 105% green reduction, 90 on the red, 90 on the black, and um, 70 on purple, blue, and yellow. The If you have a tier 4 armor metal, it's another 20%. So blue, yellow, purple, you're at 90%. And 120% on red and black. And 135% on green. Almost impossible uh, to kick out at that point. So that's why the area moves are there without, a, without another purple. It's just to force any kind of pin that's somewhat sizable. 
it would keep them down like right away um so this is like full defense um low charge moves on the yellows they're going to be ready uh turn turn two without a match um or if we don't force a pin here perfect So if we were armored up, this would probably have a very good chance of ending it like right out the gate. So you'll have to um, just do, but you can see that there's a pretty big reduction on his stuff anyway. He's going to kick out uh, here. I have no doubt about that. Um, but you'll see how little damage I take along the way too. I like that better. All right, big cascade for Vader. So the nice thing about this is if you can get yourself some five matches, you can do quite a lot of stuff with the pin bar with the destroy um you know it's you can get pretty creative really so it's a lot of fun um this match may not set up super well for me to show that it might um i'm gonna hold the destroy so we can get the red match so we need what do we need Two reds? And we can pretty much guarantee ourselves a yellow recycle right there. And that's really why I kind of like this moveset. It's a lot of fun because and now we're getting a little bit lower, so Vader's going to struggle to kick out. Not when he gets a Cascade like that, obviously, but... This is perfect. A lot of uh, pin bar to work with. And... Let's see. Let's do... There. So we got the five match, so we can start refilling the yellow. And just for fun, we can get two more red and fill the red. And now we can drop a big purple area again. And let's go with this because I'm pretty sure this has a shot at ending it. Pretty good shot. And again, um, imagine what this would be like double strapped. It's going to be super hard to kick out of even the first one. Uh, so a lot of characters don't really have that potential um, because their move charges are high. His move charge at, uh, charges at four apiece, and then letting ma you make a five match lets you manipulate into other matches um, and charge faster if you don't have a match on the board. It just creates a lot of actually possibilities. So initially, you know, when I saw him on paper, I was thinking, okay, this guy's probably um, probably a mid, not mid-tier, but probably a second-tier trickster, maybe towards the middle, middle top um, of tricksters. Um, uh, but... After playing him, I really actually like his versatility, and I think he's a lot of fun. And this moveset here actually appeals to me a lot. It's something different, um, and something I think I would like to play quite a lot. And I did actually mess around with this moveset uh, going with all offense, so all gem uh, defense, like because I have both purple trainers, so 70% purple. My purples were over 10k each. Um, I thought it would work a, a lot better than it did. I was actually hoping to show you guys that, but it didn't play super well. And maybe it was just me. Um, but I feel like that set, if I had Fury uh, gems and stuff, and then maybe something that uh, 
allowed me to break different colors to get to reds uh, for a plate, that would have some potential too. But honestly, this moveset here, um, I feel like could be sneaky good and sneak up on a lot of people. So, well, I, I won't say he's top tier. I do think he's like a second tier guy, but a very, very good one that's really versatile and a lot of fun. And even though I have a fairly big roster, I, I kind of want him on my roster. Um, actually, I do want him on my roster. He's pretty fun. So... Uh, super fun character, really versatile, and if you land him, uh, depending on your tricksters, he could actually be the best trickster you have. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share. As always, I appreciate you guys' support. Um, good luck out there.